Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Check out the notes section below because we're going to have very important links to all the topics that I'm talking about in this earth-shattering video. And if you need a uh, consultation, a crypto consultation, or if you want help installing your Trezor, please email me at adam at Information below in the notes section. All right, let's get right to it here. The Vinnie Lingham latest post is out within the last hour it just came out so i had to rush this on here i've been waiting for him to post it it is a great post um it explains uh and i will link to it below you must read it it is a must read for anyone who wants to truly educate themselves about the current state of bitcoin now he comments about why the price is going up there's a few reasons but one that he really stresses and i think is a good one is that the dollar interest rate hikes, the hike that we just had in December, is driving the Bitcoin price up. He goes into depth about why, what is the logic behind that. Um, it even involves some talk about gold, so I, I know everyone will enjoy it. Um, he sticks by his prediction, which I have brought up many other times, for $3,000 for Bitcoin by the end of 2017. Now, remember, as many of you are new to the channel, I guess, I've been talking about Vinny for a while. He predicted $1,000 by the end of this year. He's basically right. Um, we're at, uh, it, it, it just hit $15 billion market cap, um, Bitcoin, which is a momentous occasion unto itself. And he, and that was one of his predictions. So let's let's be happy about that. You know, the price has been in the 920s, 930s, 935, that's when it hit 15 billion. Um, so that is huge for Bitcoin. He predicted that. So again, so he's saying by the end of 2017, we're going to hit $3,000. He reminds us all, and this is important to remember, that he is not making himself out to be some oracle and that he's going to be wrong sometimes. He is going to be wrong. But he gives reasons. I mean, he, he gives insight into his logic behind everything. He's, he says he doesn't use magic or anything like that. He, he uses experience and knowledge of markets and, and all these other things he goes into. It's a great article. You got to read it and you'll you'll feel good. Now, if he if he is right about this prediction of $3,000 by the end of um, 2017, I mean, it will be his most important um, Bitcoin prediction ever. It, I, I, I mean, if it comes true, it's going to put a lot of people in a completely different financial situation than they currently are in. I mean, we're talking about tripling of the price of Bitcoin in a year. And that is a big, that is a big deal. And at this point, he's got a lot of people listening to him too. So there are gonna be some people who are, are gonna actually take his advice. Even though he's saying don't take his advice, there are gonna be people buying uh, after this article, um, just buying it at 920 or whatever. They don't give a darn because they wanna have it worth $3,000 by the end of 2017. So we're talking a big, Big prediction if this thing comes true. And um, I I hope it comes true. And, and the thing is, he's also sticking. He's sticking with the same logic he used at, or in his or another post earlier in the year, why he thought it would be 3,000, that countries uh, would start buying it up. And, and in other words, he, he gives good reasons. He also, he also talks about in this video what is not going to happen. And he thinks a segregated witness is going to happen, by the way, in 2017. Um, he, thi he thinks... Uh, some things that he, he, he does not think there's going to be a hard fork. Um, and there were some other things he does. I forgot all the other things he doesn't think, but, but they, they were very interesting. So read this um, read this post of his. Um, everyone who knows anything about Bitcoin will be talking about it. This is If you want to educate yourself, this is the type of thing you read, okay? Because you, you learn about the logic, and you don't have to believe that it's going to happen, but you see some of the behind-the-scenes thinking and you know some of the real factors that play into a, a Bitcoin price or, or what people think of Bitcoin. Okay, So Andy Hoffman also has just come out with a great article. And a few people have been asking me, well, where do I find Andy Hoffman? Where do I read his predictions? Here we go. He's got, a, he's got an article where you can read some stuff that he thinks. Why Bitcoin will make gold and silver go up. Now, he, he, he talks about, how, obviously, how Bitcoin can help precious metals, different scenarios, his logic behind that, his logic behind his, why he likes Bitcoin. He also gives a warning that he's, you know, he's, not a, he's not advising anyone to buy Bitcoin or anything like that. 
Um, he, I mean, he doesn't want people to take his advice, advice on Bitcoin. He's very, very logical. But he gives, you can see his logic in um, what he's talking about with the relationship between precious metals and Bitcoin. And by the way, Andy Hoffman works at uh, Miles Franklin Precious Metals. Um, as you'll, and it's on, it's on their blog. And I will, again, link to it below. He talks about his own personal evolution with Bitcoin, because as many as some people know, he didn't like Bitcoin at first, and he changed his mind. He's willing to he's willing to change. I mean, this is a huge thing. There's so many people out there that are stubborn, and um, I think someone someone on my blog, uh, someone on my uh, in the comment section, actually just found an older video of his and didn't know it was an older video of his, um, and was confused about why I'm talking about Andy Hoffman as a fan of Bitcoin. Well, yeah, that stuff is still out there too. It is still out there, but here read his latest stuff. He is a Bitcoin guy, and he is a great post. I really enjoyed it. I think a lot of precious metals people should read it because he, he says that precious metals and Bitcoin, they're not enemies. They shouldn't be trying to fight each other. And he, even he once had the mentality that they they should they are fighting. He was you know kind of hurt that, that Bitcoin was getting this attention. In, in fact, Bitcoin might shield precious metal. I mean, he gets into this, um, but I'll say it. it. Bitcoin could shield precious metals from government intervention interference and stuff because bitcoin is going to get all the attention now the governments are going to try to hit on bitcoin a lot now all right so check it out tone vase another one of my favorites i'm mentioning like three of my favorite guys here um in, in the bitcoin space to who i always mention so yeah keep on watching if you want to hear about these people uh and this is how you educate yourself this is you don't educate yourself by going to web bot okay this is education if you want to like have conspiracy theories, go to WebBot. If you want to learn stuff, come to Adam Meister. Seriously, see, I'm being really serious here. You're really silly if you go to that. If you believe that website, WebBot nonsense for one minute, when you can listen to people who have very high intelligence, like Tone Bays, Andy Hoffman, and uh, Vinny Lingham. So I mean, or listen to a made-up computer. So uh, what Tone has has talked about in, in his latest is he 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 sees Bitcoin hitting its all-time high again, which is what, in the 1130s. Um, it could have a little bit of turbulence around the 1,000. It could have some turbulence around um, when, when it gets to parity with the gold price. And, you know, depending if, if gold drops or gold rises, I, I don't know what, when that will be. These will all be momentous occasions that will gain Bitcoin some attention also. So check out, um, check out Tone's video also. All right, another some other big news in cryptocurrency, and I wish I was going to mention yesterday, but it's it even got bigger today. Monero got close to thirteen dollars today. Monero has been on the rise lately. Trading volume is very large today. Um, it's, it's 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 looking like there's some people out there that want it to be the number two eventually. Um, that it's going to become the darling of 20, at least the first part of twenty seventeen. Uh, there is I, I tried to find news articles about it. There's some uh, PR underground I went to. Uh, mentioned something very important though and it is just a press release by uh, Rick uh, uh, Fluffy Pony of Monero the founder of Monero sent out a press release and these guys just republished it so I mean good for him but it talks about how the uh, this this wallet is finally out the uh, what's it called the GUI wallet the long awaited GUI wallet legendary GUI wallet that everyone had been talking about for a while is now out so maybe some traders ha have jumped on that on, on Poloniex, I, I don't know. Again, the Monero bot trading volume is very high. You can go to the, I will link to this also, I will link to that press release, I will link to the Monero Trader Reddit, which gives all sorts of theories on what's going on with Reddit. It has a lot of, <laughs> a lot of hype on it, obviously, because these are these are fans of Monero. But um, obviously, Monero is, is doing uh, some right things to gain the attention of people. It had that, you know, earlier this year, it had that initial crazy um, going up six times in value, um, which I mean, I, I I don't want to take credit, but I predicted that it could double every, any double or triple any, or quadruple any day now, and then all of a sudden it did. Uh, you know, um, listen to Vinnie Langham and, and Tone and, and Andy over me, though, please. That, that, don't listen to my stuff. But but that, that already happened, and then I said it would go back to 0.1 BTC, go back to at the time around $6, which it did, 0.01 BTC, excuse me. Um, but it has shown resilience here. It has shown that there's some interest out there, whether they're using it on the dark markets or, or, or I, I can't, it's had the same spike again. It's gone to that same high again, which has to be a positive. It's recovered. 
And when you when it's happened twice, it seems to me at least this is based on more than irrational speculation. I think it's based on some logical speculation here that anonymous coins are going to be big, important, that Bitcoin isn't going to get anonymous anytime soon, and that this GUI wallet is really going to make it easier for people to get into it, into Monero. So, and also in that press release, which again is like a, a, a hype piece from the founder of Monero, still he says that there's going to be some type of adoption in China um, amongst underground people soon. Or, or so. read the read it for yourself. But there are reasons out there. I'm putting it all out there for you. Um, I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister. I hope you enjoyed this video.